When Moses came down Mount Sinai carrying the two tablets of stone inscribed with the terms of the covenant, he wasn't aware that his face had become radiant because he had spoken to the Lord. So when Aaron and all the people of Israel saw the radiance of Moses' face, they were afraid to come near him. But Moses called out to them and asked Aaron and all the leaders of the community to come over, and he talked with them. Then all the people of Israel approached him. Moses gave them all the instructions that the Lord had given him on Mount Sinai. Now, I want to just stop the reading right there for just a moment and just want to challenge us. Jesus said that we were the light of the world, that we are the light of the world, that he is the light, that the Holy Spirit dwelling within us is the very presence of God within the believer. Now, I recognize and realize that our faces aren't glowing with a light like Moses from the glory of God that was exposed to him on Mount Sinai. But I pray today that others might see us and see something in us that even though they don't know what it is, we'd have the opportunity to share with them that we have been with God. This is one of the reasons I challenge everyone to make sure that at the beginning of our day, when we start off our morning, that we spend time with God, allow God to radiate into us so that he might radiate through us. There's a lot of things that are going on in the world around us and there's a lot of things that want to try and snuff out the light, right? Well, we need to spend that time with God and then give Him the opportunity to radiate through our life so that others might, you know, inquire as to what is going on in you. I want to be a church that radiates Christ. We want to be a lighthouse for the community. And I pray that each and every one of us are a lighthouse everywhere we go. Let's be that kind of church. God bless you, though.